Okay, today we're building our top cover for our Langstroth Beehive, also known as a telescoping cover because it extends over top of the hive, protects it from the elements, from rain, snow, whatever else, sun. Um, we have some basic materials. We have four side rails, we have a piece of plywood, and we have our metal cover that's going to go over the entire thing. In addition to that, we also have some standard wood glue, a hammer, and some nails as provided by the supplier where we got this. So to begin, what you want to do is you'll have two short rails and two long rails. In this case, the joint goes together fairly easily like that. There's no uh, tongue and groove, there's no box joint, finger joint. Um, so I'll just dry assemble this so that you can see how it goes. And that's what it's going to look like roughly when we're done. Um, one thing that I forgot to grab is a square which might be important. Okay, that's the last thing we need is just a square to make sure that everything's lining up properly. So I'm going to start with these pieces here. I don't know if you're able to see that. There's three holes that are uh, pre-drilled by the manufacturer. If you don't have those holes, it's probably a good idea to drill those yourself before nailing so that you don't split the wood. Um, and as with everything that I've been building, I use a little tiny bit of wood glue in the joints and that just solidifies everything and holds it together and makes sure that it lasts you for years and years. So I'm going to start gluing that joint and then in this case with this kit we nail three nails through it. I don't, don't know if you'll be able to see this or not. These, by the way, are one and a half inch galvanized nails provided by the supplier. There's two. Three nails in. And as you go, just make sure everything's nice and square. And obviously, in this case, it is. Perhaps not, obviously. Again, we're going to put on the other piece. Running a little bit low on glue. Fits together nicely. This time, I'm going to check for square before we proceed, just to make sure. When you have three nails in, it's a little bit harder to adjust. When you have one nail in, it's not so bad. So that's looking good. on that side. Now we're just going to flip it over. That's what I'm going to do. I'll just put a bit of glue on both sides of this.
as you go along, make sure everything's nice and lined up and that the joints are nice and tight. In this case, I'm going to nail one nail in either side. Then I will check to make sure everything is square. And I'll finish up the rest of the nails. After that's done, what you'll want to do, my kit came with a piece of plywood. This plywood is 22 inches by 18 and a half inches. And you're just going to line that up. It should fit perfectly over top of your, your board. Your sideboards. I'm going to run a bead of glue around this entire edge. Seat the board on top. Make sure everything's nice and lined up. And now I'm going to use some more of those nails. And I'm going to put three in each side. Your kit might be different than this, but I was provided with 24 nails, so seems to me this is the way to go. So I'm nailing right through the plywood into the sides and I will skip ahead until I'm almost done and you can see how it looks. And this is the last nail so we're gonna put this on the final side. Each side has three nails complete with glue so if I flip it over you'll see four edges and our top now the last step is we have a cover and this is the metal cover provided from our supplier you'll see the edge doesn't completely cover this so my plan is to paint the outside before attaching the metal cover and I'm actually unclear at this point whether I should attach this with nails or not. My instinct would be to not nail through this because that would seem like it would make it less weather resistant. However, the supplier that I got this from said that she, tor she typically nails through this. Um, so I'd like to know what you guys do. If you want to leave comments uh, below this video, I'd love to know whether you nail your, your metal cover on or not. And if you have any other comments, please leave them below. Feel free to follow my blog at bees.chrisinch.com or check out my other videos linked immediately after this.